Hello everybody and welcome back for another episode of Any Impressions. My name is Nick, and today we're going to be checking out something called A Little Fail by developer Vlada Studios. This is a quick little adventure game that's going to be taking our main character through a bunch of strange things to do with being inside of a television. I'm not sure exactly why or how this happened, but it seems that our character, sort of like in that part of Willy Wonka, uh, has gotten transformed into some form of digital programming, I suppose. So, uh, we're gonna check out the info button real quick just to see what's going on in there. Alright, this looks like more like credits than info, but that's okay. Uh, and then we'll go to play, and we'll give it a shot. Uh, so 1991, a strange incident occurred in the house of a man who loved a television show. And right up, left down, I suppose. So I have actually seen most of what this one has to offer. Unfortunately, it's quite short. Uh, and I'm not sure which direction I should take us in first. I guess we'll go to the left door. Uh, and I think the main premise here is the developer wanted to create a situation where you could finish a game in a number of different ways. So let's uh, look under one of these little thimbles. Uh, no, we need to take a good decision. Obviously not that bad decision. How about a good decision? What about this one? Is this a good decision? No. None of those are good decisions. How about the one on the far left? Ah, there's our good decision. I actually knew where it was the whole time, but I just wanted to make sure that there wasn't any kind of trick by uh, clicking on all the wrong ones. And just to be thorough, I even went so far as to test all of these after I had opened up the door, and it seems like there isn't really much going on here secretively. Uh, I really like the aesthetic of this, very enigmatic, very cryptic, uh, and that man has now escaped from the telev television and normally followed the rest of his life, so we just solved his world and all of his problems. Uh, but if we went into the door on the right, we'll get an... an insubstantially strange, you know, far more difficult scenario for our character. So why don't we go in that direction and we'll see what happens. Uh, looks like we're going to be faced with some keys. Why don't we grab those? The uh, thing that I was mainly concerned with is what's up with the arrow keys that seem to be shown at the beginning. Is it just telling me that's how I move my character? I think it's probably that simple, but when you're looking at a game with like very little frame of reference, the temptation seems to be to attribute more to things than there are actually available, so I was sort of believing that that was some sort of secret cryptic instruction about something. Uh, so we just needed to be patient for this one, and the door will appear. Stay in that little circular radius. Okay, so we've reached the apple level. This is the one that I understand, I think, the least out of all of them. I believe all this is is just a memorization pattern. Uh, so we just need to follow the right course of action and not touch the little whirly gigs. And we should be good to go. We have to, yep, sneak right through there, do one of these. Do one of those, and if I were to have gone through any of the wrong gates, I would have had to reset and start over. So there you go, there's your solution. And let's go through the door. Uh, now we've got to hunt some cats. Alright, I'm totally for- oh, that was kind of easy last time, they ran around a lot more than that. Alright, fair enough. Uh, how about we do a tornado this time? So we've got sort of like a WarioWare Inc. of cryptic adventure game things, and that's what happens if I mess up. I needed to time that a little bit better. Let's get closer this time so you just sort of- Hop, skip, and jump right through the tornado, and to the solution. So now we've got to avoid Pac-Man. Uh, I kind of find it funny that the developer just refers to this straight up as Pac-Man. So it's like, we're actually sort of breaking the fourth wall a little bit, and that's okay. Uh, and I kind of forgot there was going to be a door last time I did this, and kind of thought that maybe I was just going to have the problem solved for me. Uh, oh. Question. Why? Okay, and uh, that's... Strange. I kind of forgot about that part, actually. Um, so that's what's happening if you go through the right door. If you go through the left door, you just pick one of those paths. And the reason I chose to highlight this one, I just kind of thought the atmosphere was neat. The background music really works well with this. Very spooky, but kind of like cryptic and strange at the same time. And I thought this was like a good jumping off point for where this developer could go with things. Uh, right now, not a whole lot here to call a game, unfortunately. You know, a series of strange little mini game style tasks. Uh, but I do appreciate the attention to detail that was put into place here, and I wish that this branched out into a million different directions, because that would be the one way that we could kind of turn this into something really unique and fun, right? If every single time you played the game, you make one slightly different decision, or maybe there's some RNG involved that slightly alters paths, and then your goal would be to try to discover all of the different hierarchical uh, channels that you could find your character down. In this case, it's really just kind of two. Just like pick the left door, pick the right door. And the left door is not really all the way dis uh, developed yet. But, you know, for what it's worth, I like this concept. I think it could certainly turn into something bigger. Uh, if you added, like, 100 permutations and all kinds of different angles you could go down, sort of make it like a Stanley Parable or something like that, uh, or the Stanley Parable, and then just put a little uh, chart that lets you see all the different ways you could go and where you haven't been yet, so you can kind of cross them off on a list. 
Uh, I could easily see paying like uh, 2 dollars for this or something on Steam. I would be down for that. So let me know what you think as well. I know it's kind of a short episode, but I just want to show this one off. Uh, something kind of different and unique. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments. If you have any particular criticisms for the developer, feel free to chime in with those. Uh, anything you uh, think was done particularly right or wrong, feel free to mention those as well. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like on it because it does help me out a whole bunch. Come on back again tomorrow. New episodes of Indie Impressions go up every single day. So I look forward to seeing you again for another one tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you'll have a fantastic night. Talk to you all later.